Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I am Nabil, and today we're going to do something just a little bit different. Uh, today we're going to do a flight, which isn't all that different, uh, but we're going to do it with FS Economy. So FS Economy is a, I guess, universal web app plugin thing for flight simulators that uh, gives you the ability to uh, do jobs and earn money and use that money to rent airplanes or buy airplanes or set up a FOB, not a FOB, an FBO, um, a fixed base of operations, sort of a, like this hangar here in the middle of the screen. Um, and it's rather fun. So I've signed us up for a job. So today we are going to fly from Wilkes-Barre, Scranton to uh, Somerset County. We're going to be doing it in the Cessna 206. Uh, and we are going to be transporting three passengers for about two grand. Uh, so we rented the plane hourly for $73 an hour dry, which means we have to pay for the fuel. But even though we rented it dry, the tanks are full, so we'll be okay. Um, let's go ahead and put that back where it goes. And let's take a look at our airplane. That gray one right there is our 206 stationaire. I rather like this aircraft. All right, let's hop into it. We're going to start off by opening up uh, X Economy. We're going to log in, log in, and now we're going to start this flight. There we go. We have all of our fuel. We have our assignments loaded uh, to get airborne, airborne, airborne. What is airborne? Go airborne. RPM greater than 10 a minute. Altitude more than 20 feet. Speed more than 15 knots. So basically, that's saying that. Uh, when we're airborne, we're airborne, uh, according to the thing. So let's go ahead and do this. We're going to turn the fuel pump on. We're going to turn the battery on. We're going to go ahead and uh, excuse me, set our prop to high speed. The mixture is full rich. Battery is on. Alternator is off. We should be able to turn this key. Let's go ahead and set the brake. Turn on our avionics, and we want our taxi light, nav light, strobe light, and our bacon. All right. Now our flight path today. Uh, we have a GPS in this, but we're not going to use it uh, because I want to do something. Let me go ahead and uh, let's see our flight today. Go ahead and show you our sky vector route. We're going to start here. We're going to fly along. Milton VOR, which is uh, 1092. We're going to fly on, let's see, that's 3, 6, 9. So that's going to be something like the 74 radial, um, although we're actually going to fly a heading of 254. Uh, we're going to go from there down to Mifflin. I picked Mifflin mostly because I am thinking of Dunder Mifflin, and I thought that would be interesting. From there, we're going to head down to uh, Mirtha Johnston. Then we're going to head south. We're going to pick up this NDB, and from there, we're basically going to land. So the first thing we need to do is set the Milton VOR, and we're going to fly this at about 4,000 feet. Uh, so let's go ahead and put that over there. So first thing we're going to do is set our VOR. So we're going to push that, and we said it was uh, 1092. So 1092. There we go. Put that up on top. MIP. Excellent. We are on the 74 radial. That's what I like to see. Uh, and we are going to fly. Uh, inbound on the 74 radial. 74. There we go. And then we're going to go down here to our autopilot. And we're going to tell it that we want to fly at 4,000 feet ish. That works. All right. Now, normally, there's all kinds of other stuff that we would do. 
Um, but the one thing that we are going to do this time, we're going to go ahead and center on the aircraft, zoom way in, and we're going to get the weather real quick. All right, winds light and variable, so we can take off from sort of wherever. So let's see. We begin our taxi, and we're going to do that by giving ourselves a bit more propeller. And is my parking brake on? It is not. All right, good. And I guess we'll just head right over to that uh, that runway right over there because it's nice and close. And while we're at it, we're gonna go flaps one. Let's see. While I am taxiing, I'm going to go ahead and connect for flight, or not for flight. I don't use for flight. I use a uh, use a different app entirely. I use FlyQ. Um, <clears throat> I used to use for flight, and I liked it well enough. But uh, FlyQ is just better. We are taking off in sort of the wrong direction, but that's okay. We're basically going to take off and then turn around and, uh, yeah. We're going to take off that way, turn around and fly that way. clear. <sighs> Alright. And now we are going to turn onto the runway. Alright. Throttle smoothly to full. speed is surprisingly good considering how much weight we have in this thing. Just like this, and 
until we hit that VOR. And I wish I could show you. Uh, I wish I could show you the screen of my iPad, but I can't. Pretty quick, so let's go ahead and throttle back a bit. And we're going to. There we go, fuel flow is acceptable. Manifold pressure is a little bit high. There we go. And we're nice and clean. And now we're basically just going to enjoy the flight. And we're going to hope that we see something interesting. MIP is 43 miles away. To our cruise altitude. We're more than halfway there now. Climbing past 3,500. Oh, jeez, what the hell's happening? That wasn't at all what I expected. It is, I think, having us turn around? Yeah, it is. Fine, then. I guess we'll fly on the 2-4. There we go. Yeah, we're a little bit off, off course now, but we'll get it back. We're good. We have way more fuel than we need. 
almost too much, to be fair. Tracking the right way. If we look at the map. There we go. We tracked the right way and then it decided that it wanted to freak out. But we are good again. Our flight plan is. Let's see if we can actually do this. Our first part is M I P. Now we're going to learn how to use this uh, 350 together because I just straight don't know how. MIP. Enter. Accept. Once we get to KJST, we'll just... Ah, uh, shit. Uh, what do I want? Light plan... Activate. There we go. And now we have a pretty magenta line to follow. And how far away are we from that magenta line? 30 miles. Or... 13 minutes. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and set this uh, to an external view and I'll let you guys watch.
back and we are right about where we're looking to go and we're tracking on the 253 and we're going to need to track on the 254 soon
right about over that airport, and that is where we are headed. So I'm going to go ahead and set the heading bug to... It's 25.
but to be fair, we shouldn't even be able to see it yet. It's, I don't know, 80 miles away? Let's see, it is 60 miles away, so we shouldn't be able to see it yet. Um, in fact, I'll be surprised if we can see it at all until we get to uh, Johnson.
currently flying at, what is it, we're flying... Like that, I believe. And when this hits... Let's see, what is the angle going to be? We're going to fly at an angle of 205. So when this gets to... Here... Basically, there's an airport in front of us when we fly over the top of it. That's actually really cool looking terrain. like the right airport and it's the uh, it's the only one in this area that's large enough so from here we're going to fly at a heading of 205 so I'm going to go ahead and set the heading to one there we go that is 205 and we should this uh, we should see this sort of point straight ahead Good. Now when we we're not gonna fly very far actually, so I think that ADB is five no fourteen nautical miles away. Oh oh sweet. <laughs> I forgot about that. That's a thing we can do. Let's see, what is that D? OBS V low. There we go. Okay. That switches us between GPS and VOR. What is that? Oh, nice. It's a... Uh like a coat rack. Not a coat rack, a, uh, a hanger rack. Boop. Alright. <clears throat> so, let's see. This is the airport that we're going to not land at. We're going to land at PG-9. That should be about 20 miles away. I'm guessing it's probably... Uh, no, not that one. So we're going to fly to about here, and then land. About there. In fact, can we get this to show us... Uh, let's see... I'm sure there is a way to have it show us the other stuff that we're looking for. But I don't know what it is. What is our message? Inside air support. Oh, that's an old message. Inside airspace. Inside air sport. Uh, let's see. VOR. That's no longer correct. And menu. No. It's not going to let me do anything. K2G9. Okay. That's what it was expecting. So flight plan. We'll do a GPS approach. Enter, accept. Enter, uh, let's see. K2G9, that works. Procedure. Select approach to. No, I don't want to do that one. No. 
flight plan. And now it just lost. You know what? Fuck it. We're not going to screw with that at all. Let's go back to the map. Enter, activate that. All right, now if we look at the flight plan, we're definitely going there. Procedures, K2G9, select approach. <coughs> uh, we are going to do an RNAV on 25. Enter. And uh, let's see, where is, we're too close to do most of these, so we're just gonna do vectors. And then we're going to say activate. And all right. So hmm. still not loving this. But let's go ahead and set this to GPS. And set this to approach and see what it does. I have no idea what it's going to do, to be fair. This is probably not the right time to sort of fuck around with the airplane. That's wicked useful. Do I see the airport yet? It should be visible. I've of course never flown here before. But we should be pointed sort of right at it. Oh yeah, there it is. All right. We're pretty far away, but we're also fucking ETE, I want to know. Let's see here. Flight plan. Oh shit. Uh, no. <coughs> Push for the cursor. None of these is really moving. Although we're getting further away from that one. Uh, enter. Push. Activate vector to final. Enter. Uh, maybe we want to actually do the approach. Enter. Well, if it's going to do this shenanigans, I'm going to turn off the air autopilot and I'm just going to fly this by hand. Because... I... I don't want to miss. Throttling down a bunch. And I'm going to trim it for level flight. Or actually, I'm going to trim it nose down. I'd like to do a straight in, and I think... I don't think I'm... I don't want to say this. I'm pretty sure I'm not too high to do a straight in yet. Alright, good. I am far enough along that I can drop my flaps. 
or slow enough along that I can. And we are landing on runway 25, and we are at heading 2223, which is good because we're not quite where we want to be yet to be pointing at it. Give it just a little bit of trim. There we go. That's good. And we are descending at 800 feet a minute. Make our heading. There we go. That's pretty good. Alright. Flaps two. And she just tried to nose up pretty hard, so I'm going to trim her, stay nice and flat. Still descending, that's good. And just like every other Cessna, I think, in the world, um, I'm just going to come in slow low, sort of point it in the right direction, throttle down, and let her land. Manifold pressure is a bit low. Vertical speed looks good. There's really no wind to speak of. Alright, a bit more throttle, because we don't want to descend we're already descending a bit too much, too quickly. Alright, that looks pretty good, I think. It might be a little touch high. Oh, I have never seen one of these. That means that we're too low, I believe. My, there we go, and green light means we're good. We're over the fence, so I'm going to go ahead and throttle her way back, and I, I kind of missed the runway, didn't I? Oh, Jesus. Look at that sink rate on this. Uh, I would have preferred to be a bit more stable, but I think we're okay. And flare. There we go. And I'm not even going to worry about the brakes yet. We're just going to let the fact that we're basically going up a hill slow us down. <clears throat> Although I am going to uh, drop the flaps the rest of the way and use my elevator for some some air assisted braking. There we go. Brake just a tiny bit. I'm going to go ahead and swing us onto this taxiway. All right. I think we're here. I think we are now at Somerset County. And I don't know why that barn is glitching. So we're gonna go ahead and pull right up to the uh, right up to this office over here and drop off our passengers. I go flaps up. In fact, we're gonna we're gonna stop over here by the fuel. All right, I think we're good. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the parking brake. Come on, doofus. There we go, parking brake is pulled. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and uh, kill the engine. That should have killed the engine, there we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn off everything, go cold. Turn off our avionics and our lights and the pump and everything else. And I guess we should probably open the doors, throw out the static elements, and tell everyone to uh, get the fuck out. And now we will open up X Economy. We'll finish that flight. There you go. And so now, if I open this back up, we should see that I have no more flights, but I believe this is a higher number than it was before. Um, <clears throat> interestingly, not as much larger as I expected it to be, I think. Let's go ahead and look at our 
banking? No, our log. All right, so yeah, we earned 1,500, um, which I think is about what I expected. Yep, we got two grand. Uh, we spent $73 for the rental, $93 for fuel, $195 for the ground crew. Uh, so that means we lost, yep, and then they charged me because I flew their airplane the wrong direction, which is something that we can discuss a bit more later. Um, but for now, I think that's it. We, uh, we've completed our first um, FS economy contract. So thank you very much for watching. Feel free to like or subscribe. Leave me a comment. I appreciate any support. And uh, have a good day. I'll catch you guys next time.